So here's some more summer reads. Um, this is Jonathan Tropper's This Is Where I Leave You. It's one of our best-selling books in the store. Actually, his book, The Book of Joe, we've sold 1,300 copies. So that's truly one of our best sellers. And this one is Laugh Out Loud Funny, the perfect summer read if you haven't read it. Um, it's about four siblings who are called home to sit Shiva for their father, and none of them are practicing Jews. And, of course, all hell breaks loose over that weekend. Um, and he also has another book called One Last Thing Before I Go, which is coming out August 21st. And we are going to be doing an event with him on August 25th. So we'd all we'd love to see you guys come out because this guy is so funny. This is Blueprints for Building Better Girls. It's a collection of short story by Elisa Chappelle, um, just out in paperback. Uh, the one thing I love about it is that Elisa really understands what it's like to be a woman in your 40s today. And it goes back to the high school years all the way to contemporary time. And um, funny, insightful. I totally think if you're looking for just a good read that you can pick up, put down, and read one story at a time, I would pick up uh, Blueprints for Building Better Girls by Elisa Chappelle. For those hopeless romantics out there, this is a YA novel called Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And this is the story of a young girl named Anna whose parents send her away to a boarding, dis boarding school her senior year of high school. And um, there she is, stuck in a city, with, the, and she knows no one. And she um, starts hanging out with this kind of great guy named St. Clair. And what happens after that is what makes this such a fun read. This is one of my personal favorites. It's called If I Stay by Gail Foreman, and I call this the ultimate crossover book. Um, this is the story of a young musician named Mia who is going out with her, goes out with her family for a ride and um, her whole world changes. There's a catastrophic uh, car accident when she is forced to decide whether she should stay or go. And it's got a little bit of romance in there. Um, it's got a lot of music references. Um, I think it's one of the best reads that I've read in a few years. And it's by Gail Foreman. And there is a sequel to see what happens afterwards called Where She Went. And, um, but you have to read them in order. So I suggest you start with If I Stay. And this is Mel Melanie Gideon's Wife 22. This is about a woman named Alice who is uh, kind of bored in her marriage and bored in her life. And she goes on the internet and she signs up to be Wife 22 in a marriage survey. And along the way, she and her uh, interviewer become much more than just interviewer and interviewee. It's funny. It's laugh out loud. Melanie lives right up here in the hills. Um, it's the perfect beach read. And um, we highly recommend it. And I hope you like these suggestions.